Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna continue with the evil campaign in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1. With the Isengard army we have Sharku, Wolfgar, 5 Warc Riders and 10 Dunlandings. Let's get it started and let's invade the Eaves of Fangorn for 10% more resources and 1 more power point. Look at this animation from this, that's crazy. That's very new, you see that? You see these little armies where the flags are? Anyways. The eaves of Fangorn are a treacherous place where the dense woods meet the open plains of Rohan. And I'm excited about this one because we have a bunch of new units. Look at that. We have the Dunlanding X-Men, War Riders. We have also Wolfgar. Uh, yeah, I know this guy. You Let me know in the comment section down below because I don't want to tell it. Who is this guy, guys? You probably know him. Anyways, let's build some furnaces first. We have also now the Dunlanding Longhouse, if we need that. I personally like to build uh, furnaces only because furnaces, in my opinion, are the primary resource building for Isengard because they give you the steel bonus, which makes our... Hold on a second. Elven warriors. Sharku eats them alive. Warc Rider Captain. Nearby, Warc Riders gain 25% more damage. Sharku, let's be real, isn't the strongest hero here. As we have seen also in the Isengard showcase for this mod we have done a couple of months ago. Uh, but so far I'm enjoying this campaign big time. Because there are many many differences. Indeed everything that you see now besides the Warc Riders are uh, very unique and new units exclusively for this mod. Lumber Mill is the main primary resource building outside of your base. And by the way, if you are wondering what is that resource multiplier, we get 1.2 times more than we normally would get in a normal game. And we have also 250 command points available. And we can pick up the War Chant, uh, not War Chant, Vision of Palanti, it's called Stone of Orphank. But we don't need that really, it's at least not for now. The furnaces are looking like that, and you can see them now in 4K resolution, also the Fortress of Isengard. Okay, let's build some more workers. We are here for work, not to rest. The Dun landings are looking nice. We have also the block formation similar to the soldiers in Urukai from Isengard. Soldiers from Gondor, of course. And let's build two more. And we need to start building also some towers for defense because better safe than sorry. Okay. So, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you have also played this mod, the campaign of this mod just yet. Oh my goodness. Uh, this might not end well for us. Sharku. Oh, oh, this might. This will obviously not end well for us. What is that? Sword strike. Run. Run, you fools. We need more towers and we need them yesterday. Okay, he's chasing our. They are chasing our uh, Sharku. Let's dance around the rosy. I don't want him. Oh, they are not. They are actually smart. They didn't even touch our units yet. Oh, Sharku, 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 Sharku. He's so squishy. Wolfcar. Wolfcar, more like dead car. They destroyed our towers. Holy guacamole, please. Oh my good. We lost both the heroes. I'm triggered. And look at the army. This is crazy. They are killing everybody now. I mean, we will be able to deal with them, no big deal, I guess. I guess, I hope. We have lost also... Look, we have 8 command points and those are our... <laughs> Love Marvel workers, that's pretty much it. Oh my goodness. These guys are going all in. All in. Cancel, build. Cancel? Okay, we need to cancel to get the money back. Very important. Can we revive one of the heroes yet? Yes, we can. Oh, we didn't cancel this one in time. We need to build a tower here. Very important. Okay. I mean, they are showing mercy now, they don't want us to fail, because, I mean, I don't know what's going on, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, slowly but surely, the towers are gonna take care of these, we are also getting foul power points, undeserved power points, because we are actually having no units now to kill the enemy units with. But luckily, our towers are handling that slowly but surely, watch this. I mean, the towers are not hurting this uh, Rohirrim that much, I don't know if they have a shield or something, I was expecting them to deal way more damage than this. At least in BFME 1, normally. They deal more damage. Okay, we, are, we can't do anything. We can also revive this guy, though. We need to wait until they die, because I, whenever I build something now on this spot... Actually, he's not attacking. What's happening? Again, maybe they are showing mercy. Um, nah, they are not in the range. 
And also, these archers are dealing a lot of damage to the towers, unexpected. Please. <laughs> Why are they so tanky? I don't get it. Okay. Uh, I want to build the Dun Landing Longhouse, you know? I, I, I want to do this. Let's build the Dun Landing Longhouse. And let's also use the Sword Strike, shall we? Oh, you can also get mounted. I didn't even know that. That's actually nice because this way. Okay. It's like a knockback, but doesn't deal too much damage. This guy's attacking extremely slow. I don't know what it is. If this guy's hard to tanky or this guy is just very. Look at look its graphics. This is PFME 1. Uh, from a video game, uh, a real time strategy game from 2003. So, the animations uh, or the graphics are next level. What is this army, dude? That's crazy. Look at this uh, house. Okay, so. Uh, Bowman, X Men. Bowman, X Men. We will also need the armory later on. They are ignoring the towers, which is reasonable because our towers, let's be honest, they are not hurting at all. But Sharku is trampling them down, that's nice. Intercept. Sharku and surrounding, uh, surrounding not surrendering. Warc Riders gain 25% speed. And a pack uh, leader. Sharku summons two Warc Riders to his side for a short time. Okay. I mean. Okay. I'm actually. Skirmish formation, more damage. Let's see the damage from these archers of Dunland. Does this guy give leadership or something? Please attack. What is this? What is this army, dude? I don't. I don't get it. It's crazy army. Okay, we need to demolish one of the furnaces. Luckily, they are mainly archers, and archers are not dealing too much damage to our buildings either. But we will need the armory. Armory is coming up now. Don't lose it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fightmen needs to be avoided, especially from Sharku, because Sharku is a war hero, and wargs are, as you guys know, very vulnerable against pikes. Okay. So let's deal some damage, and we need to peel back. Okay. So let's peel back. Avoid the pikemen. Can we group them too? No, that's not possible. We can't. Oh, we can actually. Oh, we can. That's nice. X-Men. That's gonna be an Archer Battalion. That's nice. We need one more of them. They are following us now. That's great too. Shark has to be careful. Let's group them with each other. This way. Oh, and now. What is that? Purchase portable mind upgrades. Allows the purchase of Urukai. I mean, they're gonna buy every single upgrade. Steel bolts upgrade. Uh. They get fire once they are leveled to the flaming arrow. That's like a passive thing. So that's why levels are even more important now than they were normally in the normal BFME one. We have no money. Okay, we also lost this tower, unfortunately. We are. I mean, if this would be a normal game, we would have gotten so many power points now. But again, in the campaign, you are limited in terms of the command points you are able to get. Or power points, rather, you are able to get. Group. So we have three groups of units. Uh, Sharku is very. Uh, unique because he can't get dismounted. Sharku is like a centaur, you know what I'm saying? That he was born on a war, pretty much. Okay, the furnace is level three. Please shoot. We are getting out range big time from this army, by the way. Okay, I don't want to upgrade them yet. I want to make sure to upgrade uh, to buy all the upgrades first. This way we can demolish the armory next and then start upgrading our units. Deal. Deal. Okay, we have almost the money for the armor and then also the forge blades. Just why not? You know, we can buy all the upgrades. Let's use War Chant here. And also I have Sauron to make them as strong as we possibly can. We will need that because look how many units they have around this side. That's a crazy amount of units. And the forge blades, the price is the same. Uh, the damage boost is the same. 40 percent, uh, 40 damage for 800 resources you are able to buy or purchase and upgrade from your armory. We need a bit more. Money is actually kicking in nicely because of the mill. It's untouched. That's very nice. Leadership is not existing. Uh, oh, Wolfka was left with no choice. But to pledge his war. Okay. To Saruman's cars. Uh, Dun Landings. Okay, they get level 3. Once he's level 3, they get leadership also from this dude. Hey, hey, hey. Please attack this army too. Actually, they want to build the slammer mill. Oh, I was not in on point there. We need to also move to I, but it's, it's too late. It's okay. Okay. Every upgrade purchase, demolish the armory. That's how it works. Let's buy them banner first. Uh, we are... Okay, money is not looking that great, but this Lammer Mill is going to be quite helpful now. Um, okay. 
Alright, so... Some of them are level 2 now. It's a big army what they have. That's crazy. Let's build a furnace. And we also need to make some extra workers. This campaign is quite challenging. Okay. I mean, he has many, many peasants. That's what it is. And peasants are not going to be able to heal with us. That's good. As long, as long as he has... And you can see, right? We have seen... We have used the Eye of Sauron and Vorshan at the same time. But Vorshan is just much less uh, cooldown. Okay, they are engaging now, but it's okay. Uh, they are all level 2. Now I would like to buy them heavy armor to make them a bit tankier. Actually, heavy armor is kind of meh. Because you get a lot of armor, yes, but you lose movement speed. Which actually makes sense, but it was not like that in the normal BFME one. This is much more realistic style, you know? Because the heavier you have your armor, the, the slower you are going to become, right? Which kind of makes sense. Let's be real. Okay. And can we also buy, give them the steel thing? Yes, we can give them also the steel bolts. There is no need of us giving them a forge blades. That's not even, that's not even possible. I didn't work for him. But we can give them the steel bolts for 25% more damage. But no added damage to structures, which is very important. And once again, the only possible way... Wait a second. We are losing this, but we can save it. Uh, the only possible way you can get more damage to the buildings with your archers is actually by enabling or activating the flaming arrow volley. Okay, and there is an outpost too, which is nice. Okay, that's nice. Come on, please, Sharko. Holy moly, do it. <laughs> nice. Okay, we can buy this outpost. That's also nice. And build a tower for the defense. And two furnaces for more eco, of course. Ah, the steel. You can see this little animation, right? From the steel arrows. Uh, battle tower. Double furnace. And we also were able to save this mill, which is great. And now we are also able to... Uh, wait a second, our Wolfgar has to watch out. Let's use Warchant here. Let's get it on cooldown. There's a bunch of units we need to kill. Um, okay, you are only limited to three of them at the same time. They are strong versus pikemen, elite infantry units. And I want to I wanna see them, of course. They only cost uh, 30 command points. 500 each. So let's recruit every single one of them. I mean, you are only able to get three. And then we can demolish this and build a, a Uruk pit instead. To get some Urukai on the field. Okay. Let's use flaming shot. I want to see the damage. Oh, it's not bad, actually. Let's use I to make them even stronger. They are taking a lot of damage. But once again, we have combined unit. That means we have a strong front line. And they are able to absorb quite a lot of damage. Let's go for a trample. I mean, they are actually out spamming us all the time, but quality goes over quantity. Okay, so let's peel back with the heroes. I don't want to risk the biscuit. There is one tower missing. That's how they are looking like. We can also give them um, banners. And they are actually getting recruited quite fast. And we need swordsmen because we will need damage against buildings. This army is meant to kill opponent army, right? But they are not meant to kill buildings. They can, but it's gonna take some time. Okay, Uruk Pit's next. Um, what is that? Morhau Grip. Dun Landings, House Girls temporarily gain, use Morhau Grip, ignoring armor and dealing bonus damage against heroes. That's nice. And then you have also Noble Lineage. And nearby Dun Landings receive 50% experience against and fear resistant. That's like a sport to think, okay? And uh, yeah, Crossbow Man. Isengard Sapper. Oh yeah, I want to get these units on the field. I remember them from the showcase. It's been a long time since I did it, but... Oh my goodness. Oh, wait a second. What is happening here? Kill back. We are getting outnumbered. That's what's happening. So, when you press Alt like that, you can also make them dance. And that is one reason I'm doing that. Because I don't want them to respawn. This way I can extend the command point limit. As we have done this already before. Okay, the heroes can fight a little bit. I'm actually curious if they can get level 3. Destroy all good forces, destroy all the elves and ants in this region. 
and build four lamer mills. We have a couple of bonuses, but our primary mission is to destroy all good forces, okay? Which makes kind of sense. Okay, so we have Urukai here. Are they also losing movement speed? Yes, they also lose movement speed. Oh, okay, peel back. Wolfgar, you can keep fighting a little bit. You are quite healthy still. Oh, these towers, they are actually quite useless. We have lost the entire outpost and this mill. And also Wolfgar, I don't want to risk the biscuit. Okay, so let's get this, this, and also forge plates can be given to them. Maybe we can get one more. And you can see, as long as you move with these units, uh, they won't uh, respawn. Which is very important if you want to be able to extend your command point limit. Keep that please in mind. Urukai. Okay, they are looking like this, by the way. This battalion looks amazing. This graphics and the design of the units are next level. This is like BFME Reforged to me. Like, you know, it's possible. Even in a really old video game like Battle for Middle Earth 1. That's crazy. With this engine. And it's not even lagging or something, which is a main difference between this mod and the Age of the Ring mod for it, uh, for Battle for Middle Earth 2, The Rise of the Witch King. Okay, so we need to fight now. We need to fight because this army won't be gone by its own. Okay, I want to I wanna make sure that they are not frontline because I believe they are quite squishy and we have demolished the building and we won't be able to replace the building anymore. Let's use war chance. I don't know if they are able to receive buffs or something. Can tell. We need to replace the towers in the meantime. We can get now the berserkers, a couple of them. Okay, now we can stop moving with them and they can respawn over time. I want to make sure to not lose every single one of them. At least save one of them so we can get them respawned over all the time. And this way we can get a little bit more command points, a little bit more command points, and so on. They are very strong though, they feel really strong. Charco doesn't feel that strong and also Wolfgar doesn't feel that strong. They have only 1260, uh, they have the same HP. I believe they are like the cheapest and also the most squishy uh, heroes from Isengard. But uh, we can't even complain, Isengard normally has <coughs> had normally only Lourdes and Saruman, now you have three different heroes, this two and also Grima Wormtang. I paid a high price for the safety. Okay, so they can respawn, and you can see they are easily able to extend the command point limit. These units they should be a great choice against the buildings. Elite Isengard Infantry. Um yeah. So let's let's wait them to respawn. Actually, our front line is pretty strong, but let's peel back with this guy. We can see he's badly damaged. Maybe we can save him. Would be amazing if we can save him. We lost already one, right? And we lost one. Oh, we, we didn't lose one, okay? So we, you see, very important to save at least one of them. This way, they can respawn over time. Okay, you guys can keep fighting. There are some units. I don't know why the towers are not attacking them. But you can see our command points are looking Gucci. Movement of Dunland. Move, Men of Dunland. Okay. So let's not, let's not uh, commit yet. Let's wait. Give them also a couple of seconds to recover a little bit. I don't know if they are able to heal up their HP bar too. Or if they are only able to respawn. And that's like the luck. Oh, there is an end. I want to see this. How much damage our two Urukai combo battalion will be able to deal with the fire. Uh, flaming. Hey, hey, hey. Be careful. Let's try. Let's test one then. Right? Let's test one then. Okay, not very good. <laughs> okay, not very good. Okay, we will need this army now to support this. Oh, okay, okay. You won, you won. Actually, these ends are nightmare to deal with now. For our friends. Oh my, he's hitting so hard. Please! Okay, I need to use Flaming Arrow with every single one of them to burst them down as soon as possible. Okay, be careful. Don't do stuff yourself. Ask me for permission, please. They are so slow. Kill the pikemen so they cannot chase us down anymore. Okay, let's peel back now. Everyone peels back. Everyone peels back. We have taken so much damage. Holy moly. Okay. So let's let's check this area with the berserkers. 
Okay, you, we can keep fighting here, you know, with the help of the towers, maybe we can make something happen. Okay, that's great. Our units are dying so fast, and also heavy armor doesn't seem to be helpful. And this is just way more challenging than the normal campaign, way more challenging. But it's also a bit more fun, I'm not gonna lie, a bit more fun it is, you know? Let's build this outpost here, let's get the settlement under our control. We can also build two towers, money is looking good, we can't spend it elsewhere anyway, we have, command we have no more command points available. So we can build a uh, slaughterhouse there instead. We will be losing this, but it's okay, I guess. Okay, more units are coming. Other units are respawning all the time. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking really good. And we have like a small army. I want to see the design of these units. Looks nice. Holy moly. Looks really nice. I, there is nothing to say against the design. And against also the new stuff they added into this mod. Especially in this campaign, it's very nice. I like that. I really do. Okay, there is another one. And once again, building lumber mills is kind of pointless because we have no command points for the lumber mill workers. So if you build the lumber mill, you have no workers. That means no money. So let's build uh, also three towers in the front side for the worst case scenario. T is the shortcut. T is, a, <coughs> is for tower or turret. Okay, there is another settlement. Actually, this area is untouched. Okay, let's peel back also with this army. Did you get the new X? Okay, I mean, I'm actually kind of tempted now to go all in, you know? In the worst case, we might uh, replace our army, but, uh, you know, we have enough money for this one. Uh, our heroes can also be there. Let's go. Let's go. We destroyed also this... Uh, Actually, these units are hitting very hard. It's, I, I like that. These Berserkers, man, they are really nice. Okay, so let's go ham. You, you wait. You wait a little bit. Let's build uh, three towers here. Three towers. There is an army coming, but we have a bunch of towers now. Look at the front line. So it should not be a big deal to deal with that. These units are... One of them is quite uh, squishy. So we need to... I mean, quite badly damaged. Okay. Okay, let's let's group all together now. I want to use Warchand a little bit too early. And then we can just go inside the jeans. These towers are going to get destroyed quite fast. But this area is safe. That's all I wanted. All I wanted. We can also replace the towers we have just lost. And keep moving. That's a big army what we have. There is one pikeman. Avoid fighting him, please. Okay, we can also use Eye of Sauron now. To make things even greater. And just commit on the buildings. In a, situ in a situation like that. Sharku. Heal back a little bit. Oh, there is an end. This better be worth it. Need to kill him. Need to burst him actually. Please. Please kill him before he rages. Actually, we will be losing this uh, unit, right? Oh yeah, we actually save both of them, which is very important. I don't want to lose the entire battalion. Because that would mean that we need to build the building again and get it to level 3, you know? Okay. This is going down slowly but surely. We can just replace the towers. Hopefully it's going to be enough to save today. Oh, I... I'm not on point with the eye, if, you know, with the eye today, and you can see the damage output is very bad. Holy moly, this is actually awful. It's actually awful, man. Yeah, we are doing no damage to the buildings. What is this damage? Maybe we can destroy the citadel. We will need these units soon, because they are, I believe, the only ones who are able to deal damage. Okay, we saved this outpost for now. That's good. <laughs> That's crazy. It takes one hour to destroy one farm. Okay, we have the flaming shot once again, or very soon. I would like to... Let's use war chants here, to make them a bit stronger. Oh, we lost Sharku. Keep attacking. You guys all attack the Citadel. You need to burst it down. Nice, we burst it down. Very important. Claim this thing for Dunland. Okay, this one of the towers are also very squishy. How much HP they have? Only 1,000. And this tower here is a sentry tower, also 1,000. So I'm actually a 
bit disappointed from these big towers because they cost a lot. Oh, okay, you feel back, you feel back. And we also need to revive Sharko once again. Luckily, it doesn't cost command points. That means we can revive him. Uh, even though they have no command points available. Okay, these units, they've uh, respawned. So, you guys go back to fight. This is okay. Do we have any... Uh, we need to build four armor mills for the bonus, but it's whatever, you know? Okay, our, our army is pretty strong against units, but horrible <laughs> against buildings. Oh, there are no more trees around. You see what they are doing now when, they are, when there are no more trees around. They don't know what to do. That's what it is. Let's build the tower once again. Okay. Let's move Idisan to maintain the leadership bonuses. This is going to be available soon again. That's going to be a different story. But I believe we don't even need that. Because these units on the other side, they're going to deal a lot of damage to the buildings. So, uh, earlier you could make one unit type and this unit type could deal... Could win you the game and now they change that so in order to kill units you need to make arches in order to kill buildings you need to make swordsmen so you can't rely only on one single unit anymore in this mod and it was a nice campaign it was challenging the first time i felt my child i felt myself challenged in a campaign of bfme1 it was fun guys i hope it was enjoyable for you to watch if it was please don't forget to leave a like on this video subscribe for more content like this in the future i will see you in the next video until then take care of yourselves and as always stay beyond standards and keep Hitting like a truck. Peace.